Why are the soldiers taking all this away from his house? No, he got brought it from another place. Did he get it from Lagos? Yeah, from another place. I don't know. Are there complaints about the behaviour of your troops? Many women say they've been molested and raped. Men say their property has been taken away from them, looted. Do you know anything about that? I don't think that is true. To say um, general uh, looting and uh, raping and rest of it, that couldn't be true. Uh, you know, in every war, there's always um, one or two odd soldiers who will behave in the, uh, out of the general pattern. And, well, we, I won't deny that there will be cases of this. And you do realize that it's not very easy for um, officers to be there all the time to check this type of thing. But everything has been done to keep the soldiers out of the villages, out of the roads, out of the towns. Um, but the here in the center there. of this town, Colonel, I've personally seen soldiers taking household gear away from people's homes, loading it onto trucks and driving away. A sergeant major stopped one truck and made them take some stuff off. That, um, sometimes we carry refugees with their belongings mm. from the towns to the villages. Yeah. Uh, this could be. So but, this, um, this, was just, this was just property being taken out of a house, furniture, a bedstead, among other things. Well, that might be one of the, uh, uh, the cases, uh, the few odd cases I've talked about. Mm. But uh, there are always people around who will check this type of thing, you know. <laughs> Have these federal troops behaved badly since they came here? Have they beaten people? Yeah, no, they're seizing of their things. And I beg seizing of their property. They seize property? Properties and they're forcing some girls and ladies. They are forcing them. Forcing themselves on girls yes, and ladies? Yes, forcing them. Taking some wives from people who uh, try to do something they like. Have they, killed, have they been killing people? No, no. they don't kill civilians. Do they bring food in with them to feed the population? In fact, they, they, they don't. We are starting no since, since three days now. I haven't taken anything. Are you, you are hungry? We are hungry. Very, very. very, very Even my children, you can see them in the house now, lying down. Even nothing to take. The Biafra money, when we give them, they say no. The Biafra money is of it's no use. It's an use. Do you know anything about raping or looting? No, I know nothing about that. What about food supply? Is it true that the relief supplies are not coming in? All right, we have to make a distinction between the rural areas and the towns. It, it, is, it, are, it is coming into the towns because it's easier to arrange for transport. But obviously, it's more difficult to get the relief penetrate into the rural areas. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any relief supplies here? Where is the feeding station? My father! No, no, this is my first visit to Oweri. I'm living about eight or nine miles away. The people who really say that there isn't such a centre. Well, well I've any. just come from the police barracks, and they are distributing food every day down in the police barracks to their people. Through the police, not the Nigerian Red Cross. Through the police, as far as I can see.